everybody welcome to this uh, part and uh, we continue with analysis and uh, we are going to talk about uh, complex uh, values or complex numbers as you know when uh, we have a2 a2 plus b2 equals to zero and then a2 equals to minus b2 and b2 is positive a2 is positive and this that uh, this is not valid and uh, it hasn't any real number but if uh, we use a equals to minus one uh, b2 which is minus one squared b and we define this as uh, j b then j equals to minus one squared and in in a plane we have x axis y axis but x is a, a, and a point here zeta and it has a y value on x value then z, zeta equals to x plus y j and the uh, uh, real part of z is x and imagine part of z is y it is the definition it is definition then uh, we are going to uh, have uh, arithmetic and it is uh, z1 plus minus z2 equals to x1 plus minus x2 plus j multiplied by uh, y1 uh, plus minus y2 and uh, z1 multiplied by z2 is uh, Uh, is uh, x1 x2 minus y1 y2 plus j x1 y2 plus x2 y1 it is another complex value and uh, we define uh, z conjugate is x minus yj and we have uh, and this one is conjugate z bar is conjugate of z then we can see that z z to bar is x2 plus y2 and also and also x1 plus z2 bar equals to z1 bar plus z2 bar and z1, z2 multiple bar is z1 bar multiple by z2 bar. Now we are going to have a, a second degrees equation is z2 z2 plus 2az plus b equals to 0 then z2 z 
plus plus a power by 2 equals to a2 minus b then uh, z plus a equals to plus minus square a2 minus b and uh, z equals to minus a plus minus a2 minus b 1 and 2 ok example uh, we have uh, z2 plus 4z plus 7 equals to 0 and 7 is 4 plus 3 and this part is z plus 2 power by 2 equals to minus 3 then z plus 2 equals to plus minus j square 3 then z12 equals to minus 2 plus minus square 3j Another example is uh, z equals to or z2 plus z plus 1 plus j equals to 0. Then z12 equals to minus half plus minus one fourth minus one plus j. It is b here is one and c is this, which is minus one half plus minus. Minus 3 plus 4j. Minus 4j. Assume that this, this is, we can put it minus 1, 2 plus minus x plus i, j, y. This one is this one. Then x2 plus y2 plus 2xyj equals to minus 3 minus 4j. Then x2 plus y2 equals minus 3 and uh, x y equals to minus 2 this one is this then y equals to minus 2 divided by x we put it here then it is x2 minus 4 or plus 4 divided by x2 and this one plus 2x multiplied by minus 2 divided by x j oh, we put it here sorry we put it here we put it here equals to minus 3 then x4 plus 3x2 minus 4 
Feelings have minds. Feelings minus. Feelings minus. Feelings minus. Then this one equals to zero. Then uh, x2 equals to one and x2 equals to minus four. Then x equals to plus minus one and x x1 to x3 4 equals to 2j but x we have assumed x is real value then it's it cannot be correct uh, not correct then Zeta one two equals to minus one half plus minus x plus minus one. No, not square. This one, and then we find x equals to then y. We put it y here, here, then y equals to minus plus two. We put it here, then zeta equals to minus half plus minus plus minus one minus plus two j. Okay. Okay. Now we are going to talk about the uh, absolute value. Absolute value of zeta equals to absolute value of x plus y j. And in the definition, it is uh, squared x2 plus y2 an absolute of zeta 1 plus zeta 2 is less than or equals to zeta 1 absolute plus absolute zeta 2 And uh, zeta, zeta bar 
equals to absolute zeta of power by 2 and uh, And, uh, and the example absolute zeta plus 1 equals to absolute zeta mi minus 1 We are going to tell that zeta plus 1, absolute, less than or equal zeta plus 1, and uh, zeta minus 1, absolute. is less than or equal to absolute zeta plus 1 again and this both of them is the same then absolute zeta plus 1 equals to absolute zeta minus 1. Now we are going to talk about the uh, complex values on polar form. Uh, we are going to tell that uh, uh, absolute zeta equals to square x2 plus y2 and we call it R, R, and uh, we are going to study a point zeta, and it has a x, and it has a y, and uh, we are going to draw a vector, and this one is R, and this one is theta then uh, x equals to r cosinus theta and y equals to r sinus theta but uh, zeta equals to x plus j by equals to r multiplied by cosinus theta plus j sinus theta and we tell theta is arc z equals to arc tan y divided by x if x positive and uh, it is uh, arc tan y divided by x plus p if x negative and you are going to call this define this is i e Followed by J theta. 
then zeta equals to r e j theta r from this and theta from this now we are going to have a sample Example is zeta equals to 1 plus j 3 squared, then uh, r equals to squared 1 uh, plus 3 is 2, and theta is uh, r tan 3 squared divided by 1, it is p divided by 3. Then zeta equals to 2 e power by p divided by 3 j. We have another arithmetic. Um, I can use it. I should use it. Uh, 2 equals to e. Power by P and mm. yeah, two. Uh, uh, e J alpha E J beta then E equals to E alpha plus beta j and uh, e 1 divided by alpha j equals to e divided power by minus alpha j and uh, e uh, j theta power by n equals to e j n theta and e power by G beta e power by j alpha equals to e power by j uh, beta minus alpha and also another absolute zeta f zeta 2 equals to absolute zeta 1 absolute zeta 2 and uh, Absolute zeta 1 divided by zeta 2 equals to absolute zeta 1, absolute zeta 2, and absolute zeta n equals to absolute zeta power by n, and uh, arc zeta 1, zeta 2 equals to arc zeta 1 plus r zeta 2 and uh, r zeta 1 divided by zeta 2 equals to r zeta 1 divided by r zeta 2 and r zeta n equals to n r z And also another absolute zeta bar equals to zeta and arc zeta bar equals to r zeta minus. Minus r zeta. Okay, now we are going to have a example. We have uh, j minus square 3 
over by 17 and it is z then we are going to tell absolute z equals to uh, absolute j minus 3 power by 17 and uh, this is squared 1 plus 3 is 2 uh, power by 17 power by 17 and uh, org org uh, j minus 3 is uh, uh, arch tan 1 divided by minus 3 squared plus p it is minus uh, p divided by 6 plus p is it 5p divided by 6 then z is 2 power by 17e j 5p divided by 6 but this one is cosinus plus j sinus then z equals to 2 power by 16 uh, in 3 squared plus j then we put this here here is p not x okay Another example is uh, z equals to minus 3 squared minus 2 squared j power by 7 multiplied by j minus 3 power by 4 and 1 plus 2j power by 4 3 minus 4j power by 3 then absolute z equals to a squared 3 plus 2 power by 7 multiplied by square 1 plus 9 power by 4 divided by square 1 plus 4 power by 4 multiplied by square 9 plus 16 power by 3 Then it is uh, power by 5, it is 7 and it is 4, it is power by 3 multiplied by 10 power by 4 divided by 5 power by 3 which is 125. And we have this absolute data equals to 4 power by 5 okay Now we are going to find arc minus 3 squared minus j 2 squared is equals to arc tan minus 2 squared divided by minus 3 plus p. It is the
you're calculating it. Or you see this one uh, multiple by or plus this plus this plus uh, arch ton uh, minus minus one this one. One divided by minus three, it is here, plus P divided by, or not divided by, minus. Minus half time two divided by one, and minus Arctan minus 4 divided by 3. And when we calculate arc z equals to degrees, and we put in uh, that z is r r is here it is four five square e power by j two eight six point fifty three degree and this one is cosinus plus sinus J sinus and the report we are coming to 2.54 minus 8.57 K We have an, another example to understand better how we use complex values, how we can use it, and it is if we are going to we are going to have a we have a and a, not not that one. We have a one one two we have point a and point three and two and two and this one is Minus two A B. It's A B, and we will find the uh, C, which give us and. Uh, if um, um, equal a triangle and to C or supreme in both directions. A is uh, A is one minus two. B is 3, 2, and uh, we will know what is C. We, will, we know that C minus A equals to, and this is P, P 
Peter, Peter, and Peter, the same here, here, and here. Peter, number six. This one is C A is equals to E power by J P divided by three multiplied by B minus A. A equals to 1 minus 2J, B equals to 3 plus 2J. Then uh, C equals to 1 minus 2J multiplied by Cosinus P third plus J V sinus P third multiplied by three plus two J minus one plus two J. This one is half plus three squared divided by two. And this one is 2 plus 4j. Then the whole c equals to 1 minus 2j multiplied by 1 plus 3 squared multiplied by 1 plus 2j. But this is conjugate this and it is 1 uh, minus 2 for uh, 2 power right minus 4 multiplied by 1 plus 3 squared then it is minus 3 1 plus 3 squared There, they haven't changed it. They haven't changed it. And it is changed here. Then is and the uh, opposite way. This is C and opposite way. C there. It is um, minus C prime equals minus 3, 1 minus uh, 3 squared J. Okay. Now we are going to define more interesting thing is mobus formula cosinus theta plus j sinus theta over by n equals to cosinus n theta plus j sinus n theta and the Eulish method the Eulish formula cosinus theta equals to e power by j theta plus e minus j theta divided by 2 and sinus theta equals to e power by j theta minus e power by minus j theta divided by 2 j and also we can compare this with the uh, cosinus hyperbolic x equals to e power by x plus e power by minus x divided by 2 and sinus hyperbolic x is e 
pulled by x minus e pulled by minus x divided by 2. And we know that uh, cosinus 2x theta plus sinus 2 theta is 1. And here cosinus hyperbole x2 uh, minus sinus hyperbole x followed by 2 equals to 1. And uh, And we have another we will show that j tan theta equals to e power by two theta j minus one divided by e equals to two j theta plus one. Then j uh, sin theta divided by cosinus theta equals to j multiplied by e j theta minus e e minus j theta divided by 2 and this one is e j theta plus e j theta divided by 2 then we have this one multiplied by this one they take away 2 and 2 um, eliminates and we get e j theta and we can write it 1 divided by e j theta the same here e j theta plus 1 divided by e j theta which is e 2 theta j minus 1 divided by e 2j theta plus 1 and it is the same we have received okay we are going to discuss about about the polynomial or uh, equation we have a n zeta n plus a n minus 1 zeta power by n minus 1 plus a 1 zeta plus a 0 equals to 0 uh, and we call it uh, p of zeta equals to and if zeta equals to b is a is a rod, then p of zeta divided by zeta minus b give another k of zeta, and this is uh, l of Zeta. Then P of zeta equals to Z minus B K of zeta uh, plus this is because this one is a rod then the remaining is zero
Okay. Now we are going to go through example. P of Z equals to Z power by me nine minus five Z two plus four, and we put Z equals to one one minus five is minus four plus four is zero. Then Z of one equals to one. Then we are going to use uh, Zeta 9 minus 5 zeta 2 plus 4 divided by zeta minus 1 until zeta 8 uh, zeta 9 minus zeta 8 uh, it is zeta 8 minus 5 zeta 2 plus 4 it is plus zeta 7 uh, plus zeta 6 uh, zeta 5 uh, plus zeta 4 plus zeta 3 plus zeta 2 plus minus 5z Minus 5z plus 5z. This minus 5z. 2 plus 5z. Then it is 5z minus plus 4. It is plus minus five. But this one, if you put zeta minus one, this, 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 and this, this, but this one is the value, no, but if we put J, then uh, it is positive 1 plus okay, no. Then uh, this one, P of Z equals to this one multiple by Z minus 1 multiple by. Okay. We are going to use another, uh, another uh, thing. If uh, x plus y j is a rod, then x minus y j another rod. And uh, we are going to go through an example for this. And it is uh, P of Z equals to zeta 4 minus zeta 3 minus zeta minus 1 equals to 0. If we put the uh, Z, it is not 1. It is not 1. If we put Z equals to J, then it is 1 minus uh, plus J minus J minus 1 zero then uh, uh, zeta this zeta 
1 is j, zeta 2 is j, conjugate, uh, uh, which is minus j. And uh, we are going to have uh, Then um, P of zeta equals to Q of zeta multiplied by zeta minus J, zeta plus J, which is zeta 2 plus 1 in K, Z. And we are going to have zeta 4 minus zeta 3 minus zeta minus 1 divided by zeta 2 plus 1 zeta 2 is give us minus zeta 3 minus zeta 2 plus zeta it is uh, minus zeta. What is this? Uh, minus a. Then we will take minus zeta to minus b. Minus 1. And it is minus 1. And it is uh, minus b. Minus D. Then plus L of C. Then this one is K zeta two plus one multiplied by zeta two uh, minus zeta minus one plus or minus. divided by d2 plus 1. The second is something wrong. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I am. Yeah, we have in this part. We have in then we just cut here. And we have in this part. Okay. It's PFX. Okay. Now we are going to have the We have also two another uh, thing to think about that, and it is uh, zeta minus uh, zeta one multiplied by zeta minus zeta one bar equals to zeta minus. Uh, R E theta one power by two plus uh, 
in set of one over by two. Okay. Now we have the functions. We are going to go through the function. In another uh, equation again, uh, a function zeta n is uh, uh, r e j theta, then zeta index co is uh, n squared of r e j theta plus to kp divided by n and k is natural uh, number Example, we are going to have example for that when it is zeta 3 equals to hj, uh, which is 8 e power by j p hal plus 2k. P. And it was here uh, on P half, it is when J, it is X is zero, then it is eight divided by zero, it is infinite and R cos time infinite is P half. Then zeta k is the square root of eight e power pi j p half plus two k p divided by three. Which is e. 2 k p divided by 6 plus 2 p divided by 3 k for unica uh, different k and now we are going to have another uh, For functions, for functions, f of zeta, it's uh, g of x plus j h of y, and all of them are real. This is complex. It is real. It is real. 
and we use everything that we have learned in um, before uh, in functions and we have uh, mm, and we have uh, limits is equals to limits limits f of z is j plus j limits h and uh, and then also E on the x uh, e power by z x equals to c equals to c x And uh, and we are going to have the same for integral f of z equals to integral g of x plus j integral h of y. And uh, also Okay, uh, I suppose that I have told everything. I cannot find an exact uh, uh, We are going to go through a very brief example and it is uh, w equals to z2 and y equals to 1 it's a line in uh, z a plane uh, on a curve in a w plane and we are going to put z equals to x plus yj and w equals to u plus vj and uh, we are going to write w equals to z2 is uh, x 
2 plus uh, y2 plus 2xyj and it is minus y2 okay and y is 1 then we have x2 minus 1 plus 2xj which is x plus j power by 2 and it is this one w is this one then it is equals to u plus v vj then um, u equals to x2 minus 1 and v equals to 2x we are going to put uh, this one here u equals to v2 divided by 4 minus 1 and then uh, then we have uh, then we have solved this problem and uh, just a second If we have uh, zeta equals to minus 1 plus j, then x is the minus 1, and uh, u is 0, and v is 0, and it cannot be on w. w is going to be minus 2j and if uh, z equals to j w is minus 1 and if z equals to 1 plus j then uh, w is 2j okay Uh, I have told uh, everything about complex values and uh, also uh, talk about derivative also. Uh, D. When this valid D of F of Z equals to d g d x plus g j d o divided by d bar and it is d z okay now i have told everything and i suppose that uh, Okay, we are going to through talk about the different different uh, differential uh, geometry. Differential geometry. See you in next uh, video.